we yeah, are. Good evening. How you doing? I am good. Um, um, the topic for today is um, welcome to our podcast. Be yourself. Be yourself. Keep, it keep it real. real podcast. With Alex Hook. With Brown. The man in charge. The woman who knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Everly Queen, y'all know me. <laughs> um, topic for the night when when partners treat each other right, is that a pleasure to reciprocate that? Yeah, as long as it's right. Now, here's the other thing. You know, uh, everybody says that uh, you should treat people how you are treated. What if that other person doesn't know that they're treating you wrong? You treat them the same way. Trust me, Ooh. they they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. No, you'd be surprised. They know what they're doing. Ain't nobody gonna be able to do something to somebody and don't know they're doing it to somebody. Those are called narcissists, and no, they don't. Because when you call them out, they have no idea. <laughs> Shit, they know they they know they know. They just know what they want, and they know how they want it. And they decide that, oh, look, no, uh, you're not happy? Oh, well. (laughs) Right. But if you do treat your partner right, and do you think that um, you should do more? Or do you think that you should be on the same level? It should be about, it should be about, um, doing more it's just if y'all together you know what i mean all that's gonna come into play you know what i mean well <laughs> you say that and i say that but there are people out there that don't think that they you know should be doing more than what their partner's doing they should they, they think okay well he's gonna do this and i'm gonna do exactly that to match it and some people think that maybe they they do need to go over the top. I actually know of a friend of mine that women have a tendency to go over the top with him, even though he doesn't you know he doesn't ask for he doesn't request or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and it makes him very uncomfortable mm-hmm. um, because he's a guy, and you know he's the kind of guy that he likes to be the one doing and sometimes he can't Mm -hmm. um but then there's women out there that's like well yeah don't worry about it i just want to do that and it makes me very uncomfortable so when does it become too much but ain't no woman just doing nothing just to be doing something it's something that you got to give her a return for her to do that it ain't it it ain't even got to be sex it could be money (laughs) (laughs) It could be time. Frank, Frank, frankly, with him, it is sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It could be. It could be different, different things. Whatever they, whatever their agreement on. And, they, and, you know. and you're absolutely right. But then, see, the thing is, though, is that how much is too much? Like, if you're just giving her this, and she's going, like, for example, Valentine's Day. We just had Valentine's Day, right? Mm-hmm. You give her a card. You give her some candy. You take her out to dinner. She goes and buys you a car. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know a single guy on this planet that would work for you as a car. Right. But I also know I don't know a single mm -hmm. guy on this planet. Cars. There are guys out there that are gonna go. Oh shit! Now what do I gotta do? (laughs) Because she done went out, went all out, and went over the top, and now he thinks. That he's gonna have to reciprocate in kind, or again, over the top. So, how much is too much? Shit, a lot, <laughs> of, oh shit, a lot is too much. <laughs> that like you've seen, you you've get, seen the memes. Because you've seen the, it, you've seen the memes. I'm just saying, because if you giving, you the one giving and giving and giving, but she ain't giving you nothing that can return. And that shit happened all the time, you know what I mean? Like you right. got some niggas says freely, free heart giving. They just like to give. They feel. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna put it like this. So you there's, there's, some, so there's, there's people on both, some, on both sides that do that. Yeah, but you got some men that just want to just give. 
They don't even care about having sex. They don't have about none of that. They just want to give just to have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, if there's any of y'all out there, I'm looking for one of those, please and thank or you. They can have a woman, you know, women run circles around, they can just be telling them like, oh, you know, playing with their mind, like, okay, like this, that, and that. They need this and need that, they're gonna give it, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's all I mean, it's, it's, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it, there's there's people on both sides of the fence. I am not in denial about, about that. Me, I'm the type of person that I've always been that giver because I like mm -hmm. to see people happy. I mean, that's just me. In the situation mm -hmm. now. Where I would much rather a person be happy than be upset with or be, you know, unhappy with me. You know, right. I'd much rather they be happy than be unhappy with me. Right. Okay. So, and it was a good conversation. I liked it. But how much is too much, though? I mean, you're talking uh, reciprocation. You're talking, um, matter of fact, I was looking at a different, um, I was actually looking at a different. Uh, post that uh, there was one person that was like, oh my God, I want to call him. I want to call him. But you don't want to bother them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, you, if you're giving, if you're being the giver and you're giving and giving and giving, how, when, when does it become, uh, how do you gauge What's reciprocal? Like, I'm gonna I'm be real with you. The niggas that be giving like that, them niggas get cheated on, and them niggas yeah, get ran do. over. Them niggas yeah, get ran do. over. And you know, ran over all day, every day. Cause you know why? That know she why. ain't she ain't gonna love him, and no type huh. of way, no type of fashion. All she loves is what he she, he could do for her only. Right, right. And see, and that goes back to what I was telling you that one of the comments that I made on that post. He didn't date enough people and he definitely didn't date enough women. He didn't date long enough and he didn't date enough women. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, is that you have to be discerned. You have to have discernment with regards to the people that you're going to spend time with. Right. And it doesn't even matter what kind of time. Right. Okay. You could be playing cards at a game, not playing cards at a, a party, playing a card right. game at a party. Come on, brain, mouth. Brain needs to work together. Or you can be going to the movies. You can be going to the park, going to the beach, having sex. Right. Doesn't matter. You have to be discerned. You have to hone your discernment to know who you're spending time with. And if it gets to a point where you are wasting your time with this person, you also have to be grown enough and mature enough to let them go. Yeah, you could, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's guys out I tell, I, I keep saying this, and I'm going to say this until people start believing me. There are 8 billion people on this planet. Up to 65% of them are women. You cannot tell me that that woman that has taken advantage of you and taking everything that you give her and is not giving you anything in return. You can't tell me that's the only woman on the earth. Man, listen. And I'll tell I you know. why. Mm -hmm. People don't want to do the work. They don't. They don't want to do the work. I know, I know niggas that was around me who got ran over like that. I'm talking yeah. about do everything. And then they and then they but look now, look now. You never live without her. Look now. And then they doing everything right, taking care, doing every spending money, whatever. And them hoes fucking out of both pants, leg on them. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and, <laughs> hey, and they ain't even Facts. believing that shit. And Facts. he ain't even, and, and he ain't gonna believe it. Facts. You get what I'm saying? Facts. So you are not wrong. I know that's, that because shit happens people, every day, man. There are people out there, and that's the problem because of the fact that he is sitting there going, "Well, I don't think there's anybody else out there that's gonna like me," and that's bullshit. Because right. there are 8 billion people on this planet. I was one of those people. Okay? And I am not in denial about that. Like I said. And that's what I tell everybody. It's like, I am not exempt from any of this I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because I used to be stuck on stupid. Right. <laughs> I was stuck on stupid twice. Everybody, everybody was, was stuck on stupid. Yeah, was we stupid. all experienced that shit right. in our life. You already the first, one, the first one was marriage. The second one... 
the second one was actually the first one before the marriage. Because mm-hmm. I used to tell people there was only one person on this planet. If I had ever gotten a divorce, there was only one person on this planet that I would marry with a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. No questions asked. Mm-hmm. And he left me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what does that tell you? I didn't date enough people in my life, did I? No. So you already, That means you already dated two men in your life. Actually, I only had two long-term relationships. And between, with the exception of the marriage, mm-hmm. okay, my longest relationship was three years. Mm-hmm. That part. Look, yeah, yeah, see? So when I'm saying the things that I'm saying... I'm not saying it, you know, to say, oh, yeah, I'm better than you. Hell no. Because right. I've been there. I've done that. I've got the yeah. lollipop, the T-shirt, and the souvenir spoon. Okay? We all, been, we all been fools, man. You know, we all want to experience that in life. That's what we. That's why you call it learning. Exactly. You know, it's a process. You know what I mean? You're gonna always, you're gonna, you got to go through something to get somewhere. Got to go through something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's we all had our doing. fair share. We always been stupid for somebody. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's always been like that sometimes. Now, the whole you know thing I mean? is right. It's your, but you have to learn from that. Like I say, we will never learn all the lessons that we need to know to get along in life. So we have to learn from other people's mistakes. We will never live long enough. So we have to learn from other people's mistakes. Um, but that thing that... Uh, that uh, Betty Wright used to say, having a piece of man is better than having no man at all. I, I, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, hey, you can buy verse that having a piece of woman and <laughs> have a piece of woman at all. That's the same right? thing. No, you know don't I mean? do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. I'm just saying, that's like don't. the same thing. Don't do it. <laughs> that's like the same thing, though. If, if, honestly, you, you can't find that person that will do those things for you, that will appreciate the things that you do for them. But you have to do the work. I was like, you have to do the work. Listen, it ain't that it ain't that goddamn hard to find nobody. Yes. If they, if, they, yes, if, they, listen, if they fucking with you, they going to do what they got to do and you going to do what you got to do. Exactly. But see, the thing now, is, that, if they come here half-stepping, when they come half-stepping, then, you, then you know what time it is. You got to be mature enough to say, okay, look, um, this has gone on long enough. Uh, we've been dating for three months and, and you know, I'm, like taking, I'm, I'm taking out a loan from for things that, like, no, I'm sorry. This is not working out. And that's the problem. Because people stay in these relationships way longer than they should. Right. And it's only because, like I said, on a lovely Valentine, uh, they... People don't like being rejected. That too. People don't like rejecting people. Mm-hmm. That's the other part. Because, you know, you, you have people like like your guys that you are givers. Mm-hmm. They're givers because they don't want anybody to be happy, unhappy. They actually enjoy giving because of the fact that seeing other people happy at what they do makes them feel really good. So on the flip side of that, no, they're not going to, you know, break up from that because they don't want to see that other person unhappy. Now, keep in mind, they're not even paying attention to what this other person is actually doing to them. And that's why they stay longer than they should. But it's not really that because I'm going to just tell you this. Some men think that giving and giving and giving is the way of life and the way of Making a woman happy or being a man, and you know, just giving and doing all that ain't being no man. Cause you know, man, you, you know could give. That? Listen, hold on. I'm you could give them the world, and they still will fuck you over. Yep. But so why? So why? why but, so why but, do it to yourself? You get what I'm saying? But where did they learn it from? Where they learn what from? Where did they learn that from? Because what giving? They, yeah. Let me clarify that. Let me clarify that. If a person is being that generous and that giving, despite them being fucked over the way they're being fucked over, they learn that from somewhere. And they're not learning their lesson. Not really. Not really. I'm, 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 let me show you something. I've been okay. around niggas. I've been around niggas, right? You know, we used to be all chilling and shit. You know what the nigga say? He used his money to talk for him. 
some niggas they they money gonna talk for them because they know what women's like money. You get and what I'm saying? I'll say it again. And I'll say it again. Where did they learn it from? That just that just when you get money, that's just what it is. They let their money talk for them. They ain't finna really like sit down. It's like I told my partner. I say, man, you okay? Going. If they're gonna do that, they have no right to complain about the women they got. Right, but it depends. On what, it, it, hold on now. It depends on what category they keep her in, though. No, no, it don't. If he says... It depends. If he you got niggas looking out. If you got niggas looking out. If he's going to say, I'm going to let my money talk for me, then he cannot complain about the women that he gets because he's not doing the right work to get the quality women he wants. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's letting the money do it. So guess what? He's going to get the gold diggers. He's going to get the ones that want the gifts and the, that he's going to get all of that. He is not going to get a woman that's going to love him for just him. Not going to happen. Right. <laughs> so he can't go hey, back. Listen, just like that. I, I've been around that shit all my life. I had I one know. of my partners, right? He used to, all, he was, all he used to do is be a food runner. The girls used to call him. He got to go take food to him. Man, go, that's right over here. Let me go drop the food off. She won't. That's all he was doing. Buying food, buying food. And, and complaining like so, crazy, right? And ain't, he ain't complaining. Paying oh, for this, well, doing that, doing right? that, doing yeah. that. So I, I said, damn, what's how You doing all this? And you ain't never like, you know, do nothing. Nah, you know what I mean? It, it, it's good. It's all great. But I like. Yeah, well, and you know what? <sighs> like I said, if you like it, I love it. <laughs> that's, that's just me. But that's just it. I mean, you can't really look at somebody's situation and say, nah, man, you're being done wrong. You can't. Because if they're happy with their situation, there's not there's nothing you can really do about it. Right. But like these guys that complain about, you know, all these gold diggers that are coming around it, if they're going to complain, I mean if they're gonna let their money talk for them, then they can't complain about the women that they're getting. Because right. the money is what's bringing them, not them. Right. <laughs> and and the women aren't gonna do the work to please them as long as she's getting the money. <laughs> so man, he's in a lose listen. lose situation. These guys are man, in a lose lose situation listen, already. Listen, listen, we all gonna go through that bullshit, man. I ain't gonna oh, lie. I remember a long time ago, back in the days, right? I talked to this uh this girl, and uh, you know, we were kicking it or whatever. I ain't even know her, not even two weeks or whatever, two, three weeks, I think. You fucked it. And uh she 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 must she must was like behind her bills and shit, right? So she gonna talk about oh I talked to my friend, my friend say that um ask me if I if you doing gonna help me. I say help you, I don't even know you like that. You get what I'm saying? So who's her friend? What I got that shit was already happening before I even got there. You get what I'm saying? You already had financial yeah, problems, so you know what I mean? Don't come that, that sounded Man. like that's how like a U turn waiting to happen. Listen, I cut that off quick. I know, I, if you I got know. problems already, you got you got bill problems and all that. That's fucked up. Hey baby, how you, hey baby, how you doing? Well, you know, I'm just trying to get these bills paid. Be done. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you got females that try you like that. Like, damn, you um, da, da, da. man, look, hey, they would never get me to call them back. I'm gonna I'm hit it. I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, cause that means that if you already got financial problems, what me coming to be with you gonna do for me? Oh, it's just gonna. All be they gonna do is fuck up my finances too, cause she fucked up. I'm gonna be fucked up fucking with her. So you might only <laughs> leave that shit alone. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, right? But that, okay. that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, if that is what you are doing to get your partner or whatever, you can't expect any anything more than what's going on. Right. I mean, that serious. Because the thing about it is the, the fact is, is that you have to show what you want them to see and want them to be attracted to. So if you're showing money, then guess what? They're going to see the money. They're going to be attracted to the money. It ain't, but, always, it ain't always that, though. It ain't always that. Because <laughs> a nigga, let me show you something. If a, a nigga stay clean, fresh, look good, might be riding something good, they swear they looking at money. A nigga could be dead ass broke, but just look good. You get what I'm saying? But see, that's where the conversation comes but, from. That's what I'm saying. So when they see, they like, damn, okay, fuck it. I got a nigga that's doing a little something, something. So now they finna try to hit your pocket. That's the one that 
who looking for that on you. And, know what I'm and, and then guess what? You bust a U turn and, and call it a day. <laughs> shit, I don't even that shit crazy. Because I'm because I'm the type of person that like I I actually have the level of discernment that I can actually figure out what a person is like even before you know they uh before they approach me. And that's from dealing with a lot of different people and not necessarily in relationships or anything, but just people in general. Right. Um, I used to work in a pharmacy. I used to work in retail um, pharmacy. As a matter of fact, it was my first pharmacy technician job straight out of school. Mm. And as you go through the pharmacy and you start getting to know people, you're working with different people, you see different customers, you know, mm-hmm. well, we call them patients. Um, you actually get to know the different types of personalities that come up there. So you have to use that information. Remember, not necessarily remember, remember, because you know, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Right. But you have to use that information to find or actually deal with people. Because, you know, if you see the same person over and over again, um, especially in the pharmacy. Um, yeah, you get to see the same people month after month after month because, you know, they're coming back to the events. So after a while, you kind of get to know their personalities. <laughs> right. Yeah, you do. There's a white couple that used to come in. You do. And it was hilarious because, of course, they're white, red, white. I mean, we're, they're, like, white. So I'm standing at the uh, register. And this is the whole, this is the whole uh, don't judge a book thing. Mm-hmm. So the man comes up. I wish I could remember the names because they were like fantastic. Man would come up. And of course, in order for me to find their medications, I got to look them up. So I'm saying, like, okay, sir, what's your last name and your date of birth? And he says, ask me again. I said, okay, sir, what's your, what's your last name and your date of birth? Mm-hmm. And he said, well, ask me again. I'm like, well, huh? And I said, well, what's your first name? He said, put in tank. <laughs> I can do nothing but laugh. <laughs> I'm a um, putting thing. I'm going. I'm going. Po- I'm going. White person. <laughs> I'm so, going to post. I'm going to post the uh, the link in the in the in the um, in the thing. Like anybody that want to come on here, oh, and yeah. they got some anything they got to say against the topic that we talking about tonight. Oh, we are, we welcome any any, any and they just can, about um, everybody. Hmm? Uh, I said we welcome any and just about everybody if you want to come on. Uh, I see somebody giggling at us up there, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the whole thing, you know. When you start to see the different personalities and in, in different people, for mm-hmm. example, the third or fourth time I finally met them, I knew exactly what was I, I expected of them. When they right. came in, it's the same thing when dealing with people in relationships. Right. You know, when you're going out, when you're, uh, you can actually go to a club. And if your discernment is honed, well, like mine, you can literally go around the club and pick out exactly what type of people are there. Mm-hmm. It's fun, by the way. I mean, that's primarily why I used to go to clubs is to go people watch. And believe it or not, even some some behaviors and things that you haven't seen, mm-hmm. you'll start noticing because the same people, a lot of when you go to clubs, the same people show up over and over again. So you'll see like that person that does that. And then you'll see like another person all the way on the other side of the room that's doing that too. And you look at them both and go, yeah, they're exactly like they need to be together. So. All right. That's, and, that, and that's it. I mean, it's just like with me and driving. Right. I can actually predict. I can drive down the highway and actually predict what every car is going to do. Of course, <laughs> I've been, I've got 10,000 miles. I mean, I got 10 million miles under my belt. So I, <laughs> I've right. seen enough traffic and I've seen enough habits of certain people in certain cars mm-hmm. that I literally can predict. I can drive fast through moderate traffic and right. not have to touch my brakes. But that's me having that's, driven 10 million, miles, 10 million miles plus. And it's the same thing with, with relationships. When you're dealing with enough people, 
you actually will be able to pick them out so that you wouldn't have to deal with the gold digger that just wants your money. Unless, of course, you want to deal with the gold digger. With but you would money. never know that. You would never You would never know that, though. You, you would never know it unless you did. I'm going to tell you, you got women you got women who will sit there, talk to you, like they got more game than anything, tell you like, oh, like this, they got this going on, this, that, and the third. Oh, And, yeah, and, and think about it. Uh, um, it's only um, the first um, conversation, though. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you know, you sitting there, you listening to them, right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. as as the stuff going on and on, you start to really see who you're dealing with. Because exactly. all that shit you just told me, that shit ain't what it is no more. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because it don't take long. It don't take much and it don't take long. Because I'm going to tell you. And and guys are like that, too. Guys are the worst at it, actually. <laughs> because women are, women are very emotional. Okay? Mm -hmm. we, wear, we wear our emotions on our sleeve. That's why it's easier for a guy... To pick a woman who is vulnerable, mm -hmm. i.e., a rapist, because they we project that. Guys mm -hmm. are, unfortunately, uh, guys are trained by their fathers, their grandfathers, their fathers before them to hide that, to pull it in. The only the only emotions that you are allowed to show in public. Are anger and irritation, which is just slightly less than anger. And so, yeah, you can walk up to just like a woman. If a guy approaches her and he's trying to, you know, shoot his shot, and she turns him down, mm -hmm. okay, you got two ways for that to go. He could either, all right, well, I appreciate you, you know, didn't mean to bother you, and leave. Or the more likely scenario is he's going to try again. She refuses. She's going to try again. And it's going to go into a point where he goes, well, bitch, I don't want to talk to you anyway. You just ugly. And that's the whole thing. Guys are not able to be read like that because you guys were trained not to be read like that. For women, it's easier for women, you know, women for a guy to see a woman be vulnerable because we're emotional people. You know, we're emotional people. It happens. Now there's I, some of us a lot less emotional. I never, but I, I never in my life um, talked to a woman like that, like cuss them out because they want to talk to me. I never did. Oh, I know. Well, you that know, that wasn't never my right. thing. I don't been around niggas did it, but that wasn't never my thing though. I never right. did that. Did you ever call them out on it? Huh? Did you have yeah, I, I, I just say like that. Why you got to be talking to the girl like that? The girl, because she don't want to talk to you, they keep it moving. You know what I mean? I never was a person. Never, Ain't no woman can never say I did that to him. Yeah. I never did that. That's the thing is, is that that's where I'm saying. It's like you have to, and, and this actually. Only goes, thing they may say, I cuss their ass out. Though, when they get up, they, they, we, get, we get into an argument. That we'll do. I'm going to do that, though. But yeah, well, that's not standing. I'm talking about you just trying to talk to this girl. You've never oh, okay. met this woman before in your life. Right. Like, I don't know if you heard that. Uh, you're, on tic yeah, you're on TikTok. You've heard about the, the brick that heard around the world. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, you don't, you can't wrap your brain around shit like that, first of all. But the thing about it is that men are not able to be read as well as women can. So, Shit. When, when, no, yeah. I don't believe that. Okay. I don't believe no, that. No, no, no. Here's the thing. No, no, no. I'm not saying a guy reading a guy. A guy can read a guy all day long. I'm talking about I, women reading. I can read me a woman if I'm if I'm if I'm if I take an, if I take a woman out and I'm sitting in front of her. I, I'm, I'm reading her at the same time. Right, because you're reading. I'm women. studying her. A guy, a guy can read a woman and a guy can read another guy, but women can read other women, but women can't read guys. Some women could, not all. Well, I can, but <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other topic. But I'm saying, the thing is, is that if a guy is going to say something to, you know, like your, like your buddy said, I'm going to let the money talk for me, uh, <laughs> when he has the power to read women and get a woman that he doesn't want to do the work, he can't complain. Now, it's harder for a woman because a guy can talk all that mess that you were saying a woman would do. Right. And he can keep it up because he was trained to do it. Right. So he was trained by his dad. He was trained by his granddad. Don't you, don't you care 
let that mask slip because then you're going to be a punk. You're going to be, you're going to be regarded as a punk. You're going to be regarded as soft. You're going to be regarded as a simp. And that's been perpetuated. Shoot. Let me, I was let, me, let, me, let me ask you a question. <laughs> let me ask you a question, right? What your role, what is your, what's your per take on a man, a, a man being a man? I already told you that. You, 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 no, that's, you, that's, gotta, that's you that gotta watch. That's you that gotta question. watch our Valentine. That's that question. I, I'm gonna answer it. I'm gonna answer it. But I'm gonna tell everybody. Answer it again. Answer it again. Right now, if you watch our Valentine Day special that was uh, February 14th, you will see my dissertation on the man being the head of the household. All right. I'm gonna say it again though. Okay, now, man is king. Man is head of household. Woman is the crown upon his head. Which means, yes, man is the decision maker in the house. Okay, but, and this is a big but, and this is what everybody misses. He does not make a decision until he talks to his closest confidant, which is his queen, his wife, mm -hmm. his girlfriend. Well, I won't say girlfriend because in girlfriend, he's supposed to be doing that. And boyfriends aren't either, by the way. You really don't do that whole wifey thing, the boyfriend thing, until this finger right here has a ring on it. Anyway, man will make, man should make the ultimate decision in the house because he is biblically, biblically, if I can say it right, good Lord, biblically, <laughs> never mind, in the Bible, <laughs> mm -hmm. man is the head of the household, man is king of his house, but his wife, his Proverbs 31 woman, it's crowned upon his head. Mm -hmm. So, guy can go out there, says, hey, babe. Uh, I saw this really nice car and I, I'm, you know, I'm going through this midlife crisis thing, but you know, I, I, I gotta have it. I mean, I really, really like it. And she'll say, can we afford it? Um, is there, you know, do you want to work for it? Do you have the extra money? Do you want to work the extra time? Um, and we take care of all our bills and still have another car in payment. You know, there are certain things that, <laughs> And, and I'm saying this as a woman because I, I, know, I know this. Because men want uh, validation. Women want security. So man wants to be validated as at a household, as in, hey, am I doing a good job? Do you, you, know, how am I, you know, how am I doing? How do I look? I don't right. never need nobody to validate me, shit, because I'm going to do what, it, what they're supposed to do. If they doing what they supposed to do, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Ain't nobody got never validated. Oh, you me. cannot. Ain't no action, you nobody cannot me. tell me that you can't go to a woman and say, "Hey, baby, I, I'm thinking about getting this new cut on my beard. What do you think?" Man, I, don't I, think, I, no, I think I like I it. Don't, you know. I don't no. talk to no woman about nothing. I'm finna do. I go well, do what because, I need to do. That's because, that's because you ain't married. <laughs> no, it ain't even if I was married. Shit, I'm gonna make my own decision. Shit, ain't no woman gonna make no decision for me. Oh, that's my point. Because let me show you something. Not all women happy for what you do. Exactly. And you're right. They're not happy. And that's why and sometimes you, know you got to do your shit, with, do your and, shit how you want to do it. And you know why? You, you want to know why? Why? Because you picked the wrong woman. Shit, that come from any woman, man. Some women have <laughs> jealous jealous hearts, jealous tendencies yeah. inside. The, I'm telling you, no, like a jealous no. spirit. A man, man listen. A, a person will only do to you what you let them do. Oh, if yeah. you have a woman yeah. that has a jealous heart in your household, that means you didn't date enough women to find the woman that you don't want to have a jealous heart with. You did not do the work. <laughs> it ain't that. Some women, like we said, like <laughs> women, what we said, that they put everybody wear a mask. Oh, absolutely. But they guess put what? on a mask. So we would never know that until that Bullshit. time. Come. Bullshit. Bullshit. And you know why? <laughs> because, again, we are so easily read that that mask is going to go away as soon as we fall in love. <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Exactly. And 
if the mask doesn't disappear, that means she's not in love with you. <laughs> Man, listen. Dude. Delicate. You know, listen. You know, life. you know, you know what a person ain't fucking with you, and what a person rocking with you. You get what I'm saying? And you that's know why that. you don't need to be with the ones you know that are fucking with you. Because <laughs> if you got a woman, y'all gonna be together all the time. No, that's not right. That's, that's I'm, not I'm saying she gonna crave Unless you, you're you gonna crave her. She gonna uh, crave that, you, and you gonna crave her. You know what I'm saying? You're truck, unless you're a truck driver, you're not with somebody all the time. Man, I ain't talk, I ain't no truck driver. I'm just saying. Well, there's a difference. I mean, crave craving what way? It could be all kind of way. You got some women. You got some man that just like to be with they they uh they uh, they partner. Which they is just great. like to spend time. They just like to spend time with their partners. Which is fantastic. Which guess you what? what they are they're compatible in this case. But what I'm saying is that if you are with somebody that is not into you, mm-hmm. that is always creating drama. Is mm-hmm. that is mm-hmm. creating issues for you all the time? That means mm-hmm. you pick the wrong person, right? Right. <laughs> okay, people. Like I said, people only do to you what you let them do, right? But like I was going back to say, man is the leader of the household. Now, as again, I was saying to men like validation, you may not need the validation. Mm-hmm. But when you get it, you do like it, right? I don't look for validation. From That's not what I asked. <laughs> I don't look for it. I understand. But do you like it when you get it? I don't look for it. You don't like it? I don't look for it. If somebody told you you look good, you're going to say, oh, no, I don't like what oh, you do. I, I, I feel with that. I, feel, I understand. I tell them thank you, but I ain't looking for no other validation other than uh, I, outside I, of that. I understand that. And I get that part. That's just you. Mm-hmm. However, I'm not saying they need the validation. They like it. Mm-hmm. Women like security. Do they need security? Yeah. Probably. Shit, a man wants security too. Yeah, but a man can do security because man, you know, listen. You if you're in a relationship and you ain't got no security, not you. She only she she looking for security. You need to be looking for security too. Because uh, if you yeah. fucking with somebody who bad with money, I'm and you, sorry, and you hold the money, so you it's gonna be a conflict. I'm sorry, but if you are bad with money, you shouldn't be dating in the first damn place. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're creating you're creating issues that could be prevented. But that's what I'm saying, man. It's somebody, you get what I'm saying? And when you're with, and like I said, if you're with a person a good amount of time, you're going to find that out. And right. you're going to chug them out the door. Oh, if you're smart. Right, you're fine. But anyway, back to what I'm saying. The man is the head of the household. Man likes validation. Women like security. So he is going to confer to with his uh, closest confidant to get validation or in what I typically do is I always play devil's advocate, truthfully, to make sure that he is looking at all the situation, you know, all sides of the situation before he makes his decision. Now, when he makes his decision, right? either or, you got to run with it. Because guess what? He's head of household. He's going to make the ultimate decision. Now, right. if he has a <laughs> discernible pattern, notice how I put that. A right. discernible pattern of making decisions that not push your relationship in a forward-moving direction. It's time to re- Evaluate, reevaluate your union. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, and I'm not talking like you know, co-signing for you know your cousin, which I've done. Sorry, uh, not co-signing for your cousin and not telling her about it once. I'm not talking about going out and buying you know something expensive like a pair of Jordans that just came out when you know you have rent due once. I'm talking about a discernible pattern of decisions that this head of household is supposed to be making for your, right. you and the rest of the family. Because, I mean, you know, sometimes you got kids involved, too. That that trust factor and that respect starts to go. And that's where you start getting those issues with your girlfriend, wife, 
you know, your wife, basically, because you shouldn't be doing that as girlfriend anyway. Um, but that's when you start getting those issues with your girlfriend or wife, sorry. Because you're, you know, the head of household is making all these decisions and she doesn't feel secure. And then if she can call him out on it or if she can talk to him about it, that's one thing. But I'm going to tell you, some of those conversations, particularly money, it's the hardest conversation on the face of the planet to talk about. But it needs to be done because it's like the biggest thing in a relationship is how are we going to live from day to day? Are we going to have enough money at the end of the month and you still want to buy this car that's $288 a month plus car insurance, which makes it like $500 a month right. because you want a Ferrari? <laughs> right. So, yeah, those are the things that need to be done. And that's where this submission that most people are, uh, they're, they're mistakenly believing that submission is, a, the submission of a woman right. means that a man gets to tell her what to do and, be, and she has to be subservient to him. That's not what that means. Mm -hmm. That means that she trusts him enough where she doesn't have to worry about her security and he doesn't have to worry about his validation. It's reciprocated. Mm -hmm. And you can find it. You can. There are 8 billion people on this planet. <laughs> so, you can find it, but so, you got to do work. So I'm saying, like what you're saying, so for example, right? Okay. You, you mess with someone. She wants security and whatever. You're looking for security, right? Mm-hmm. Say she need a tire for her car. She goes and go. She goes and go buy a ticket to go to Atlanta, right? Instead of buying her a tire, but then they come back and try to make you buy the tire. <clears throat> what you think about that shit? That means that's somebody that got their priorities together. That's somebody that does not have their priorities together. You get what I'm saying? So I, I get. It. I know this, but I know this what some women do. Women do. They like they will. They will try to get you to buy them things that they won't even buy themselves. They will try to get you to buy the things that they. They won't even spend need. the money and buy it for themselves. Yeah, they, they won't even buy the stuff. Yeah, they they won't even they buy for themselves. They want to do what they want with their own money. And guess what? Those are easy to weed out. Because here, here's the thing about that. They're playing on that old adage of chivalry mm -hmm. and and i'm gonna say it's old because chivalry isn't really dead it's just being misused right because there are guys out there that are complete gentlemen they see a woman on the side of the road they're gonna stop and help her out you know mm -hmm. um same thing with guys dating women guys are going to be that chivalrous person if she's like oh my god i'm out here on the side of the road and i I got a flat in my I got a flat on my spare, um, and I got a flat on my car. I need to buy another car. He'll go, okay, look, you know, I'm gonna run. I'll go ahead and get the tire. I'll bring it out. We'll go ahead, you know, I'll take it over. We'll get the rim put on there. We can hold on. Now, that's great, fine, and terrific, okay. Mm -hmm. But if she turns around and goes to Atlanta Nick the following weekend, now you gotta re reevaluate that relationship because that's somebody that, who's not paying that, attention. That's to what's good, going on. If that she, goes on in this lifetime a lot. Right. Like people, I mean, people. heck. So that was a good example that I put it as. Oh, it absolutely. Is. But here's the thing. You can't do that when you're married. But a lot of you shit cannot. goes on in marriage, though. Yeah. And so they need to be, like, not married. You want to keep dealing with a woman every time some bill do, she ain't paying the bill, the bill ain't getting paid, but she'd rather go do this and go out to the club, buy an outfit, go out to, nobody want to be dealing with that. Exactly. Which At means because you ain't doing no put put you putting us in a deeper hole. Which means that you needed to date her longer than three years, four years, five years before you married her. Right. I'm telling. I'm telling you. But well, they long. like like they say you, you would never know a person until you live with. Them. You would mm -hmm. never know a person until you live with them. That my mom told me. That's absolutely true. But absolutely. if you dating her outside of her house and your house, you would never know. You gotta date. You gotta live in the house with them to see who exactly. they really is. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So that's when like you're really finding out who they is. Right. And that's when you go, yeah, no. 
<laughs> and find your own place and say, hey, you know what? It's been a great five years, but I mean, that's a, like that's I said, a waste of money. Not really. That's a waste of money. Not really. You know that why? is. If you get, if you want to go get a, if, if you go invest in an apartment with you and this person, they say, you know, you leaving that. That's a waste of money. Not really. You know why? But that money, you could have went and got your own place already. No. Nah. Well, I mean, you still. You gonna pay two? You paying two times? But here's the thing, though. You were paying for your place before y'all moved in. So I'm just saying. If, in, but I'm just saying. Now you you invest. That's not why, But why do that? That's throwing money away. My, my okay. If you. Here's the thing. If you're more concerned about money than having a relationship, then maybe you don't need to live with them. Which means you But you gotta understand, money. you gotta be smart. You can't waste money. You trying to, you know what I mean? You trying to stack money, you can't waste it. So if you but got your own place you're and you're paying your rent. You're, but you're talking about finding somebody that you want to be with so, for the rest of your life. Right. You don't think but that's that, worth that mean, listen, that means that you need to just y'all keep staying your separate places until you really exactly. know exactly. You are that's really what my I point want. right now. You give what I'm saying? You have to date enough. You have to do the work. You need to date right. enough people, right? So that you will find that person that you go, oh snap, I really like her. We've been dating for six years, seven years, and you know we've been spending the night at each other's places. And you know she doesn't snore. She doesn't you know kick me in the sleep, and mm -hmm. she looks good when she wet when we take a shower. You know what I'm saying? I, I think we should do it. But you have to know. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I understand what you mean when you say it's a waste of money. But it's not a waste of money if you do the work first. <laughs> you can't date somebody for two years and then expect one of them. I have known this guy, the one I said I was going to, that I met. And I was dating mm -hmm. before I met my ex-husband mm -hmm. and got with him after I got divorced. Mm -hmm. Okay. We lived together for a year and a half mm -hmm. before he left me. Now, mm -hmm. this is the one person on the face of the planet. What you I, did while he left. Huh? What did, oh, you, I, what did you do I, while he left? I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you had to do something. Nope. I, I take that back. I take that back. Okay, so this is what happened. Ain't nobody just gonna leave like that. It's got to be a reason why he left. <laughs> I caught him doing something stupid, mm -hmm. and I confronted him. Mm -hmm. The only thing I did was get angry because I was feeling a deja vu uh -huh. because I just went through the same shit with my ex husband. I went to bed that night. Everything he owned and the only car we were driving was gone the next day. Mm -hmm. No warning. No uh, no note. No apology. Nothing. And I can bring him. I can bring him on this. Well, he's probably asleep now, but because he has to get up at like four o'clock in the morning to go to work. We're still friends, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he completely, matter of fact, um, I can go back on my Facebook page in mm -hmm. 2017 mm -hmm. and, and basically you would see there's a, uh, there's an essay I posted that actually refers to me and him. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm not afraid to tell everybody about this because I didn't do anything wrong, but it was the level of trauma that he endured as a child that came mm -hmm. ringing his ugly head in our relationship, among other things. <laughs> but no, I didn't do anything wrong for him to leave me. Um, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I had no idea that there was a world in Facebook outside of just posting stuff and seeing everything that my friends posted. I didn't know they had messenger chats. I did not know they had group pages. I did not know they had private pages. I did not know they had X-rated messenger chats, which I fell into by accident, but not really. Mm -hmm. um, my world was him and our and my children, because my children was there. My nephew was there. That was my entire world. I was happy until I wasn't. 
And when I saw him, when I saw that he did that, I had two choices. Because he, when I, when I saw it, he was asleep. Mm -hmm. I had two choices. I could either keep living this, hey, I'm happy, we're doing great, you know, I'm, I was recuperating from surgery, um, and, you know, he's helping out with the kids, uh, we talked together, this mm -hmm. was my twin flame, the one I was talking about on Saturday, on Wednesday, yeah, right. my twin flame, right, okay, or I could pull the rug out from this lie mm -hmm. and find out. And so I did. There was there was no way I was going to be able to live with myself and not be honest with my own feelings. Right. Because that was the big thing, you know. I mean, shit. I just went through that about three years, three years prior to that, you know. No, I'm sorry. Let's see. 2017. I was 20. Well, yeah. Five years prior to that mm -hmm. is when I was telling you, my ex husband confronted me, and I right. agreed, and I and I said, yeah. I just went through that. So right. why am I going to sit here and live another lie when I'm like, yeah, I, I can't do it. I couldn't do it. So, yeah. But you know what? Women don't value men's feelings. <laughs> Real talk. Women don't value <laughs> men's feelings. That's because you guys act like you don't have any. Nah, it ain't, uh, it ain't about that. You don't, that because a man, see a man, that because a man don't show his emotion and his feelings to a woman, that don't mean that he don't have feelings. And you know, so, and a lot of women now, don't, they do not and now all value of, a man's feelings, and now all but of our, our they feelings. want you to value their feelings. Oh, yeah, because we're all about our feelings. Everything we're is cool. only about them, but it ain't about the man. They want the man to bottle up their feelings, and However, we supposed to, we supposed to just sit there and listen to what they got to say. Mm, that ain't how that thing work. No, because that just means you picked the wrong woman. You know what I'm saying? Like that every time when you're trying to say something, it's like you got to bottle your feelings up. She's she, she trying to make it like they yeah. feel is hurt, but they don't really know how you feel. Let me say it again. Especially if you express to them and they still don't understand that. People only do to you what you let them. You pick the wrong woman. Right. Yes, you pick the wrong woman. So <laughs> for everybody that's watching, whatever we talk and discuss on here, that's stuff that I've been through in my life, in my past Ooh. life. You Same. know what I'm saying? Same. So some people get it twisted and be thinking it's going on right now, but it's really not. It's that's yeah. what I live in my past. You get what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. So it that's what podcasts for to be able to talk and express yourself and your, you know, what you've been through. Yep. Not to mention, okay, being yourself, we're keeping it real. Okay. So I'm keeping it real. Just like, oh, perfect example. <laughs> Brother from another mother. Okay. And I mean, literally, brother from another mother. Been in the mother's act club. He's going through divorce. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing all this stuff about him going through divorce. So, three years goes by. Okay. Haven't heard from him. Always had his number. He was in the, the Army Reserve. So, he was always, you know, deployed. Matter of fact, right. he went to, like, Iraq. He went to, like, he went to Afghanistan, like, three times. Right. And Iraq. And he got deployed right in the middle of COVID. So he right. was stuck up in Fort Stewart because they couldn't leave. Right. Come back. Now he's having issue with his new wife. Okay. So, Mr. Bruce, good to see you. Glad you could join us. I see you, so, cuz. <laughs> you need to come oh, on here. Yeah, come on in. Go ahead and click that link, link on that in the bio in the, um, and, and come on here and, and let us know what you think about that topic. So, what, so I'm talking to him, right? And he's right. saying, oh, you know, I'm having this issue, this issue, this issue, and that issue. And I'm like, okay, well, how did you get to know this woman? Because I know, I knew his, I knew his wife. I knew his ex-wife. Right. Okay. Right. And I knew how <clears throat> crazy she was. Um, so I was like, well, how did you, you know, meet? Because I know you got, you and Terry going through the divorce and all that stuff. And he's like, well, yeah, you know, she was there. And, you know, I, we talked, kind of talked and I kind of got a lot of stuff out. And, you know, I really started liking her. And so. Um, I got married. We got married about, you know, probably about a year, year and a half after I got divorced. Right. And I'm like, okay, so why, what's wrong now? And so he starts running off and I was like, oh, I get it. And he goes, mm -hmm. what? I said, you just wanted to fuck her every night. And he was like, 
what? It's like, yeah, you should not have gotten in a relationship while you're in the middle of a divorce. Are you kidding me? Anybody's going to look better than your ex-wife. And you married this woman? <laughs> you just wanted to fuck her every night. He's like, no, no. Like, like really? He's like, well, yeah. Only if, if a man, only a man gonna go and fuck, a, fuck another woman if he ain't getting that at home. Well, he was like I said, he was in. The you got you got some women when they get old, when they get old, certain age. Know, they were younger. Like I'm just like saying, his, I'm just saying for example. His, when you know you don't mess with women that get old, that's old, right? They getting up an age when you try to touch them at night and shit like that. They get an attitude. They don't want to be touched. You know what I mean? Because that's they old now. They, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, what I mean? you, you know, you know what I'm gonna say. I'm sorry, you, you, we have been partners on this thing. I'm just saying, freaking weeks. Well, I'm just you saying, know, when I'm they get old, go ahead and say, go ahead and say what you go say. You picked the wrong. No, no, that I'm. I ain't. It ain't about picking the wrong person. Well, some women get in their age, they get old. That just, they just ain't feeling that having sex like that no more. You get what I'm saying? They just want to get. First, first of all, first of all, I know I'm way older than you are. Where are you getting this information from? I'm just saying, not all women. Listen, I'm gonna show you. For example, you got someone when they get old, they get less and want to be less have sexual oh, involved, right? Mm, and you got some women when they get older, they want to be they like they like to have a lot of sex. So it's, it go both ways. How do you know? I'm just saying. I know you're just saying, but how do you know? Trust me, if I'm telling you that, that's some shit I've been through my life. You get what I'm saying? Motherfucker, get old. That's how I be. Oh, so how old shit. are you now? 98. I'm 45. <laughs> I'm 45. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Um, yes, that does happen. I I am not uh I am not in denial about that. Um however, <laughs> that doesn't have to happen mm -hmm. because a lot of women, you're right. A lot of women do get to a certain age and they, as you would say, don't want to be touched. Now, what you might have to find out is what the issue is. You're going to have to really, like, I mean, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm saying she's got to, she's got to be honest, you know, case in point. And I, and I know I bring these up because shit's happened. Um, I used to work with a guy. I used to drive a truck up in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, I was the only woman at this. Uh, we uh, It was a trucking company. Mm -hmm. And we were driving day cabs. And all we were doing is basically dropping and hooking trailers. Or sometimes we would mm -hmm. um, have to do live loads. Mm -hmm. So if there was nothing moving, we were all sitting around in the driver's lounge. It's me and like mm -hmm. 10 guys. <laughs> okay. So one day it was just me and him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everybody's going in and out, in and out. And we're just, you know, sitting around waiting for loads or whatever. And, hey, where'd he go? I'm, I'm, I'm still here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we get to chit chat and we get to talk. And, of course, you know, I was still married at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I was happy. I put that in quotes. And he started talking about, you know, the issues that he was going through with him and his wife. And I told him, I said, well, you know, have you really sat down and talked to her? And he's like, well, what do you mean? I said, you guys really need to shut everything and everybody out, go somewhere or, or you know, even stay at home, sit down and have that hard conversation. Yes, you will not feel good about it. It will hurt. She will cry. But you guys have to figure out what is the disconnect in your relationship. And then you fix it. You have to do the work because you love her. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sitting here and despondent. And she loves you because she hasn't left yet. <laughs> and, of course, that kind of made him giggle. But... They are still married. They are happily married, I am proud to say. <laughs> I am really happy to see that it had worked out for them. Because I was drawing on, hey, are we... <laughs> 
Are we still on? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, um, like oh. okay. <laughs> I'm reading the comment. Rodney Bruce say they don't they don't want to be touched because they were touched by someone else earlier before you. Someone earlier before you. That's true. Um. <clears throat> that's okay. true. That's a man's perspective. That's a man's perspective. Man, I will tell you straight up why I didn't want to be touched because right. I was not the older person, mind you. My ex-husband was way older than me. I won't say way older. He's only 11 years older than me. But I was a... I, thought, I call him a married single parent. And mm -hmm. the reason I tell him a married single parent is because he was a truck driver. So mm -hmm. he was gone like four weeks at a time. Right. So we had two children. And at the time before we got divorced... They were both under 10. Matter right. of fact, um, yeah, my son was four months early mm -hmm. after he got out of the NICU. Now, keep in mind, my husband was, is, was a truck driver. Okay. 92 days going back and forth to the hospital until he got out of the hospital. My daughter was two days late. He went back on the road a week after she was born. Mm -hmm. And he was gone a month. He'd come back home a week. Gone a month. Come back home a week. Meanwhile, we got a three bedroom, two bathroom house, and I'm the only person that's doing everything. So when you come home from being on the road for four weeks, and you want to be affectionate with somebody at ten o'clock at night, who's usually already asleep, who's tired. Because they've gone all day dealing with the children and has worked for a living. Yeah, I don't want to be touched. I need sleep. You signed up. You signed up for it. See, that's triggering. Don't say that. You signed up for it. Ah, uh, that's triggering. Don't say that. Because that, you, you, you that's exactly for. what he said. I didn't sign up for an absent husband. I didn't if sign you, up for an absent on, man. If you Listen, okay? if you come we, home. We made the decision to have children. Not just mm -hmm. me. We made the decision to have children. So if we are going to have children, we need to be home to raise our children. I needed a physical body. And I told him, I need, a, I need your help. I need you here. He said he can't. He can't. He can't. Because he had this thing in his head. That he had to be out there on the road making money makes sense. By by the way, not denying that he was an awesome he was an awesome provider. But at the time that I needed help, he was not there. And when I used to call him to complain about my son's teachers, like that issue I was telling you about with his C three right. teacher, that's what he tell me. You signed up for this. That. And that mean when that man came home and put his hands on you, supposed to roll over and no. let that man do what he supposed no. to do. That man needed to respect the fact that I was raising two children by myself. I was physically tired. I was mentally tired because I got to think for three people and now I got to think for four because you're coming in. Now, right. don't get me wrong. That's life. That doesn't happen people, to everybody. Don't get me wrong. You got people going through worse things than that. And they're going to no. get home and still ride the donkey like it ain't nothing. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm not everybody. <laughs> one. And two, don't gaslight my ass like that. Okay? I do not like that. I had enough of that shit with him. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. How you going? How you going to provide for somebody that ain't giving you no security? What do you mean provide for somebody ain't giving you no security? He was giving That's what I'm trying to find out. I, he, I was giving, he was giving up. I ain't saying you. Up. I'm not saying you, but I'm just saying somebody in, in general. How you going to well, provide for somebody that's not giving you security? Because if you provided for this person, when you need this person, you can't even go to that person get a dollar. But you providing, her need, you, you providing everything they need. I don't see how I don't see how that would be related to what I was saying. But, but we just, I'm, I'm just you saying overall. You, you, well, th that depends on your definition of security because provision and security. What security are, is? What security is? Well, security means, well, actually, security actually has two different meanings. So if you're talking about economic security, 
then that's the whole provision part. But if you're talking about security in your relationship, knowing that she's not going out there and cheating on you simply because you're gone, then that's a whole other thing. That's that's being and loyal. I, that, that's not talking I, about wait. security. That's loyal, being loyal. We talk about security here. Is loyalty. Listen, loyalty. Hold on now. Security, loyalty security means security, not a, the same thing. Security is a lot. Of, it means a lot of things. If she's right. securing a bank account, making sure the money there. Right. So now you have, you 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 know what I mean you you are uh, provided for somebody right now. That's security. That's her security, right? right? So right. now when you're trying to go to this person for your when she, you provided for, you can't get nothing from her. So where what, what now what 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 you what you think about that? You know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> It ain't about you pick the wrong one. It's about we, we, we just why, have why a not? conversation. Why why not? It People can't be that. only do to you Come what on, you man. let them do. That's a selfish motherfucker. That's what that is. You are, yeah, you're right. And you That's a selfish her. motherfucker there. That's what that is. <laughs> and, and you picked Nasty, her. Nasty selfish motherfucker. Yep. And you picked her. <laughs> because you are with saying a, if, there, but if I picked it, I picked her with a mask on. Huh? I picked her with the mask on. The what? I'm I picked her with the mask I mean, on. No. But then when the mask came off, now I see who, who the person no, no, really no, is. No, 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 Because if she has, and it's the same thing I was saying to you about the, the, the head of household. If they have a discernible pattern of a certain behavior mm -hmm. and you ignore it, you cannot complain. Cause you were just yeah. saying, how do you, how do you? Any powder, you any powder that goes my way, I'm, 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 trust me, I'm clocking it. <laughs> I'm recording it, clocking it. Okay, but guess what? Trust me. If you, if you are out there and you're doing that and you cannot get that same reciprocation, see like big word down at the bottom, then yeah, you need to either leave. Bye. See you later. Yeah. Here, I tell you what. I'm gonna give you five hundred dollars to see if you can get as far away from me as you can. Shit, I ain't because get a goddamn thing. Because at the end of the day, you don't have to leave. You can make her leave. I ain't get a goddamn <laughs> thing. Shit. I'm just saying. You gotta figure, you that, saying, you gotta figure you know, that shit out. Well, you remember how you were saying that if they were you were cohabitating? You know, you can make you can you know if you cohabitating, you living together. You were saying that was a waste of money. You know, you can make her leave. <laughs> Y'all name may be on the lease. How you gonna do that? <laughs> Oh, that's easy. You just renew the lease. That, but if you leave and you leave, the, you leave the place that she made, let the shit go in eviction just to fuck your name up. No, because she can renew the lease. But that's but listen, what I'm saying, she may do be nasty and say, oh, "I'm gonna show this motherfucker, I'm gonna leave when the, and don't pay the rent, and then the place just go into an eviction." Now, nah, it's eviction on both y'all names. And if that's the case, then you kick her out. Not the other way around. <laughs> if you, you got, are, you got, you got, you, you got a victor. You got a victor. Her name on it. You got a victor. Yeah, you can. That's the only way you're gonna do that. Exactly. You got to do it right. Otherwise, it ain't gonna work. Right. Yeah, it's gonna take time, but you got to do the work. Right. So it goes back to doing the work. If you're with somebody and you're living with them and they, you can't live with them anymore, and you want them out, you still got to do the work. Mm -hmm. There is no lazy way to have a good life. There isn't. You want a good life, you need to do the hard things. You want a hard life, you keep doing easy things, your uh, life is still going to be hard. A lot of these women don't want to do the hard work. They want it easy. Then you can't complain. And you got to understand, right? People gonna be Whatever people. you do, sure. easy. However you get the money. That money got something tied to it. No. Some type of way. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. I, my job is real easy. No, no, no. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about if you don't want to work hard and get a job and do what you're supposed to do, and you out here set the money for this person, that person, that person, that money is curse. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not. That I'm money not. is curse. Because if you had to go suck a dick, lay on your back, <laughs> get put in a buck, whatever you want to call it. For what? 40, 50, probably 150, 200, 250. I think the going rate is That's reality. That money is cursed, man. You had to go sell your body for that money. The going, the going rate, the going rate is 40. And then, 
Yeah, yeah, forty dollars. But I'm saying, if, now if you poly popper, you may get two fifty. But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but listen, to what I'm saying. Hold but on, listen wait, to what I'm saying, find, right? Let me find a new John here, though. But listen, to what I'm saying, right? That money curse, right? And then when you get that money, you and when you when you get it, it's gone. You can't never show nowhere where the fuck that money went. Yeah, that's right. And that and that's that money um, come through your hand and go. And then let's you know, your world start crumbling. That's finances that start going fucked up. That goes under accountability. Because if you can't account for every little dime that you get, then yes, you know, if you what they say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Yeah, that's that's where most of the guys are when they're getting that easy money. They are planning to fail because they're not um, they're not planning, you know, anything for the future. You know, most of the people who get easy money or quick money are going to spend it easily and spend it quickly. Yeah, yeah, I get that money easy, but I don't spend it like that though. Well, no, because you, Only, if I, I might have my little time. I might say. I'm gonna go and buy myself some shit like that, but other than that, I'm gonna uh, put that money up. I ain't really. But you, but like you that. have a skill. You have a skill. Yeah, and, that's and, and that's and why. I, but even it ain't about the skill. I, it was already embedded in me. I'm a hustler. I know how to get money more than one right. way. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, so, and that's why. That's why people who know how to work money never win lotteries because we don't play. You get what I'm saying? Like, you shit, I know, I'm not here, I know how to fix cars. I know how to, uh, what, uh, do cable. So I know how to do, I know how to cut, I know how to do all that shit. You get what I'm saying? So can I got sing? different things I could do to make money. Can you but, sing? Who? No, nah, I can't sing. I can't do that. <laughs> no, I can't sing. Can you rap? <laughs> I can't do none of that. My kids break do that. Dance, I don't right? do that. You can break dance, right? My kids do that. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can break dance, though, right? You can break nah, dance. Nah. No. You can stand on the corner and wave at people and say, hey, bye, Verizon. Shit, I could do that, but I ain't gonna do it. You have a good driving record. You can be an Uber driver. Shit, I don't want to drive for no Uber. If I'm oh, gonna, do, if I'm gonna be an Uber driver, I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do start my own business and let people know. Okay, I charge you twenty five. It, it is your own business. Oh, now actually, I'll tell, I could, you could start your own shit. Why would I go work for a company? I can make the money myself. You're not working for Uber. It's like I'm, you a, I'm a license. I'm a licensed Uber driver. The only thing I pay I, for I is. The use of the app. That is it. Okay, All but I'm just saying. Money. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Why well, would only, I drive for only, Uber when you could build your own empire? They only take four percent. I know, but you could build your own your own empire. Yeah. You could I get know. your clientele so much that people, okay, I'm gonna charge you twenty five to take your hand, and bring you back, or you could charge them twenty both ways. Yeah, you know how to file your taxes. And shit like that. You just you know, you know how to file your taxes? Do you know how to do a 1099? Do you know how yeah. to incorporate? Yeah. Do you, yeah. you know how to incorporate? Do you yeah. know how to make yourself a small business? Yeah. How? I'm already incorporated already. I already got that going already. What? Joe Schmo doesn't. Huh? So they don't use Uber because they know how to do all this shit. That's where I was going with that. <laughs> and I only do it through Uber because I don't want to do it anymore. Uh <laughs> But everybody, you know, some people are gonna report they made this and they made that and really didn't make that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, well, IRS is very far reaching. <clears throat> you deal with people every day just giving you cash money, like people in the neighborhood. So yeah. that's free money. They ain't, you ain't yeah, gotta pay no taxes on that. Yeah, as long as it's cash, yeah. That's what but, I'm saying. They paying you in cash. Yep. But uh if you got a ten if you are a ten ninety nine self uh independent contractor. You're gonna have to pay your quarterly taxes, and you are going to have to report something, right? <laughs> so, right That's everybody. Let you That's everybody. Uh, file taxes, and they send you. You know, you don't owe anything. But one of the things that I learned in a relationship is that there is there is a certain level of trust and respect on both parties that has mm -hmm. to be there in a marriage. Mm -hmm. And you also have to be honest with your Not even in a marriage, in a relationship, period. Well, we're basically, yeah. Any kind of relationship, true. Yeah, yeah. But in a marriage specifically, because of the level of reciprocation that you're doing, you know, right. um, you got joint stuff or not, you know, uh, you have kids or not, you know, mm -hmm. but there's a certain level of trust that um, that you have to have. 
Um, there was a post in the in the group that I was telling you mm-hmm. um, that said that this woman had put uh, screenshots of her DMs, mm-hmm. and she said that she had just met this person, had just uh, they were starting to talk. He apparently was. Um, Hyper, no, I won't say hyper religious, but he was very spiritual, and uh-huh. he was talking about how, uh, you know, we were meant to be together, and I think oh, God would think you were going to be the one that I marry. And she was like, "I'm not." And when we kind of, we've only been going, you know, doing this for a few weeks, and I was like, "No, the only person that I would trust with my life like that is my mother and my sister." And then that's a game. Yeah, right. And then after that would be my ex-husband, but when we were together, not now. I don't trust him as far as I can push him over, but we actually needed to trust each other with our lives because we were driving a truck together and Mm -hmm. I had to be able to sleep while he was driving (laughs) and he had to be able to sleep while I was driving. So, Mm -hmm. but they were saying that um, uh, if somebody you knew be able to tell you to go jump out a window um, and not tell you why. <laughs> and I was like, no, the only two people I would trust to do that is my mother and my sister. I'm going to jump off the roof all the time. And I'll tell you, yeah, and my mother, and first. Because, I know, because I know my mother, she will look at all sides of the situation before she'll figure out, okay, yeah, we need to jump out the window, let's go. And I was like, okay, I don't even have to know what's going on. I'm following her. You know, jump out here first. Heck, heck yeah. <laughs> Thank God we're on the first floor, but still, we only got one floor, but still. And like I said, her and my sister, the only two people I would trust like that. Even hey. now. Even now. Now there's only very few people. I'm a really bad passenger. But <laughs> so there's very few this people topic, though, what I want to say about this topic, though, is, um, you know, when treating each other right and, and the pleasure to reciprocate, some people don't realize that when you're in a relationship, or whatever you want to say a marriage that when you leave when y'all leave each other y'all represent each other absolutely some women don't understand that and maybe some men don't you understand yes there's a lot of but uh it's a lot it's a lot of it's a lot of bullshit like that going on out there but again you know a lot of that is perfect and the thing is is that i think what it is is that it's a really it's a blame game you know a lot of people don't want to be accountable for some of the stuff that right. they've done. And then when somebody tries to hold them accountable, they're like, oh, well, you know, she was just a bitch and I didn't like her anyway. But right. Still, you were treating her like shit. So, like, huh? <laughs> and mm-hmm. and there's a lot of that. I mean, even women are doing <sighs> A lot of women are doing that. Because. All they are doing is trying to get to some money. <laughs> they ain't trying to be okay. in a love relationship. Well, they ain't trying to get some money. They are trying to trying to find that one person that has. How you gonna that. find? How you gonna find some? Listen, if they out here getting put in the butt, bending over for a couple of dollars, right? And then they meet somebody, they may like him. You think they're gonna be faithful to him? Hell no. That's not even. That's not even it. How Hell would? No. She, how could she even think that he would want her? For more than that, I mean, it's the I'm same thing saying. about the money. The I'm same thing saying. you were saying about your man that said that uh, he's letting the money dog. What's the same thing with women? But that you nigga had. Like I'm, 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 but I'm gonna I'm I'm be real. He had to let his money talk for him. Because if you see that motherfucker, if you see that motherfucker, you be like, oh yeah. <laughs> he, had yeah. Really, he had a really good personality, yeah. right? Yeah, he got to use that shit because ain't no woman gonna talk to him. He got to use make his money talk for him. You'd be surprised. You get what I'm saying? You'd be surprised. I mean, but, you know, it's, it's somebody out there for everybody. Like I said, 8 billion people on this planet. You just got to do the work. Got to do the work. Right. But see, what I was saying was that, you know, if people are seeing him for his money and he's going to let his money talk because of issues, um, it's the same thing with women. If you're going to get out there and, and hustle your pussy around and you're going to just sit there and twerk all day long, how are you going to expect a guy to want more than what he's seeing? How do you expect a guy that want to work to work more for what he's seeing? 
Like, he's not going to put in the work to get to know you if he's seeing what he's seeing. If he's liking what he's seeing. He ain't going to do it. Same thing with a woman. Woman ain't going to put in any more work to get to know you and your sensitive side and how nice yeah, and no. good you are. And, you know, how you like the pimples popped on your back because it feels like a massage. No. She's going to say, buy me a suit. Buy me a purse. Hey, can we go to Jamaica next weekend? Yeah, that's you can only expect out of a person. Here we go. Well, you put into it. Shit, that's what I'm saying. But you know what? Women don't understand that. Men don't either. Shit, I understand the shit. <laughs> oh, you if do. You ain't, if you ain't giving me nothing, you're going to get the same thing back. Nothing. You do. I do. And hey. Oh, I'm that's what it is. There's people in my audience right now that Shit. understand that too, but there's a lot of people out there that don't, and that's why we're here to be yourself, and we keep it real here because we talk real shit. And be thinking like, and it, think like when I talk, that shit be going on now, but it really just be my past life. I know, God, I've been through. You know what I mean? I can tell, and, and, and I I'm entitled to talk about my content of what I've been through. Well, you, you know, know what the thing is is that the reason you can talk about it is because you learn from it, that right, you yeah, remember yeah, it. Yeah, that, yeah. And that's why I tell everybody, it's like, you know, like when we were our first podcast, it's like every, you know, everybody, nobody here can say they have bad kids. And I'm like, that's not true because right. I don't have bad kids. I That's from my experience. Now, yeah. there are people out there that have kids that do bad things, but kids aren't inherently bad. It's the same thing, you know? These, like I said, when I say something, it is something I have either been through. There are some things I'm, there are some things I'm going through right now that you would never know I'm going through right now because of the way I talk about. Yeah. <laughs> like I told you three stories that were going on right now. You have no idea which one it is. Shit, I know what it's going to be. <laughs> no, you don't. Trust me, I know which one it is. I know. Trust me, I ain't, I ain't gonna say nothing, but I know which one it is. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, we talk real stuff here because we want to educate, we want to entertain, and we want to irritate. No, we don't want to irritate. But if you're uncomfortable, that means Boy, we're that, doing the va- that Valentine special got a, got a whole lot of motherfucker heads spinning. Hey, okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. If we a lot of motherfuckers we mad about that one. One. we They're are the bad one. About that one. We are the ones that make you have those uncomfortable conversations because that's how you learn about people and that's how you learn about stuff. And like I said, you cannot live long enough to make all the mistakes you need to learn in your lifetime. So you learn from us. I mean, learn from other people's mistakes. (laughs) Right. I have no problems telling it like it is because I am not exempt from anything that I'm not admonishing everybody else for. Because the only reason I can say it is because I've been through it. Mm-hmm. And I've come out to the other right. side like a phoenix. <laughs> right. Well, for everybody that's tuning in on Be Yourself and Keep It Real podcast, that uh, we um, we setting up a schedule, whatever what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and doing a commercial. And we're going to be doing um, also promote, promoting for people that want to promote their business, anything, yes. stuff like that. Yes. We yeah. are we are local. Well, sort of local. I mean, yeah. if you they have a uh, their business, we we are in the uh, South Florida area. Dade, I'm sorry, <clears throat> I haven't been here in 30 years. Miami Dade, <laughs> Broward, mm-hmm. Palm Beach, Monroe. Uh, we'll even go so far as you know, um, Orange County, it's Atlanta. Uh, All they got to do is just inbox me, okay. DM me, whatever, whatever they're trying to do, whatever. Hey, DM me too. And we DM. can make it happen. Me, not DME. D, sorry, that's a pharmacy we... joke. <laughs> okay, and we can make it happen. I'm sorry, and, um... I can't turn it off. <laughs> DME, 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 DM him. <laughs> Y'all can DM me too. DME is durable medical equipment. That's why it's a <laughs> technician joke. Um, you don't say it in the right context. <laughs> but anyway, y'all can send me a DM. 
I am at the real Ebony Queen. You can also DM me here at Patricia Ebony Queen, both at Facebook.com. And you have what is it, Alexander Hook? Alex Hook. It's Hook Brown. They Hook fuck Brown. with name. They messed my name up on that. No. Hook so Hook Brown. Yeah. All right, Facebook. Yeah, so uh, uh, be real. Don't be yourself. Keep a real podcast yeah. on YouTube. And um, I'll be yeah. on YouTube. And I think. Share. Yeah, we also on YouTube too. too. You can subscribe on that too. You go back and watch the podcast on that. And um, you can also um. Oh, and, uh, and, and, and um, damn it, what's that thing? TikTok. Yeah, on TikTok, on TikTok too. Yeah. yeah. The real I'm Miami Six Two. Six Two. Real Miami Six Two. And the real Miami Six Two. Del Real Ebony Queen with the DA. That is me on TikTok. I'm also on mm-hmm. Instagram at the Real Ebony Queen. D A dot Ebony dot Queen. And we are on TikTok too, the the Hook Brown Show. That's what it is on, on Instagram. And uh we'd like to thank everybody that chimed in with us. They share their love, you know. Bye, man, we miss being you. on whatever we talked about. And um thank you. Know, you. Catch us thank you much. tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I know. I'm Thank sorry. You, I'm long. I haven't been trying to go. I'm trying. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Have a good night.